Amsterdam has been called the city of bells and bicycles. Well, it's still got plenty of bells, but there are nowhere near so many bicycles to be seen around. Amsterdam, like every other city in the world, is slowly being strangled by the motor car. Every day, these narrow cobbled streets and canal bridges are choked by over 35,000 private cars, most of them parked or in traffic jams, and it's getting worse. But at last, there's a glimmer of hope on the horizon. It's been called, perhaps flatteringly, the most advanced experiment in the world in a new kind of city centre transport. It's the white car. And it's the brainchild of a group of young Dutch engineers. A small, battery-powered electric car carried two people and a few parcels at 20 miles an hour. It looks a bit odd, and it certainly feels a bit odd at first to drive it around. A bit like a, a goldfish in a bowl with all this windscreen around you. Although you've got safety belts and all these windscreens are chatterproof. But there are clearly all sorts of things about this car that can be improved. And the doors don't fit very well. But in a sense, the design of the car isn't all that important. It could be almost any electric car. The most important thing about this car is the system into which it fits. Because you don't own these cars, you rent them. It's a sort of self-drive taxi. Well, the ultimate objective is really little short of a revolution. It is to remove those 35,000 personal and grossly underused cars from the city centre and to replace them with just 1,400 of these quiet, pollution-free, publicly owned ones. There would be a network of recharging stations like this throughout the city centre, quiet, unobtrusive, each with a group of cars waiting recharging to be used. Now, the idea is that the system should be totally self-financing. So before you can use the white cars, you have to pay an initial fee of £8. Pounds. That gets you a key. You get a key for your wife, it costs another £4. Pounds. So you're in the city centre, you want a car to go to the office or shopping or to the cinema. You walk to your nearest station and you plug your key into a meter which tells the central computer who's taking the car. Then you plug the key into the car and it's yours for as long as you want it. There are no gears, you just turn the key Press the pedal, and you're away. From now on, you're being charged one and a half p per minute. Now, their research has shown them that most city centre journeys would be about 10 minutes long if it weren't for all these terrible traffic jams. So that's about 15p per journey. That doesn't seem too much to pay for the privilege of going when and where you want, because that's the big advantage that the white car system has over other forms of public transport. It gets rid of the worst effects of the private car, and yet retains its big advantage, individual freedom. The only restriction is that you have to pick it up and park it at a white car station so it can recharge for the next person who wants to use it. But that's the dream and I'm afraid it's a very, very long way from being realised. After five years of campaigning and lobbying, just five stations are almost completed, carrying 35 cars. And if they work well for about three months, then 15 stations will be built with accommodation for 105 cars. It's come up for a lot of criticism. Taxi drivers, as you might expect, hate it. Amsterdam City Council has been decidedly cool. And Dutch drivers, well, they're the same as most other drivers in the world. They're addicted to the power and luxury of their private cars now, so they tend to treat the whole thing as a bit of a joke, a bit of a white elephant, in fact. 